Hey y'all, um, y'all down here in the canning kitchen with me and there is something y'all have, many of you have been requesting is English pea salad. And I thought, oh my goodness, everybody, if I had not been asked by so many of you, I thought everybody knows how to make English pea salad. Everybody's had it. You know, these green little English peas or sweet peas, some of us call them, or garden peas. But, um... I realize through lots of your messages that y'all haven't all had it and some of you had it traveling in the southern states one of you stands out to me in particular you said you had been on a vacation some years back with your family and y'all had eaten in a restaurant that had English pea salad and it was so very good and you asked me would I please share it if I had a recipe and I thought oh my goodness I didn't know that everybody didn't know or didn't have it so absolutely we're going to share it um, i've got many requests and i made a big a long list and this is one of them and i'm gonna i'm gonna slowly work through all those requests so this morning after i read my bible and drank my coffee um i sat on the porch and i started looking in church cookbooks that is one of the best places to start because i thought there are so many variations to an english piece out and let me decide what to do so I thought, let me just look several up. I love to look at recipe books. And I had a stack of church cookbooks about this tall. And I went through several. <laughs> saving, yep, I'm going to try this one, this one, this one. And then I make my own. But this recipe is going to start off with the basics of what my first mother-in-law, Velda, would have on her table just about any and every time you went for Sunday dinner i mean just about any and every time english pea salad was on her table um and i loved it a lot of times i would get there early and i would help make it so she's the one that i first started learning or making it myself over at her home um she was my first mother-in-law velda she's gone on gone on before us not very long ago and i miss her dearly i do she was a great mother to me while she was a mother to me. And I hate that word ex, you know, because once you're in a family, you're always in that family. Um, and so she was always family to me. But this is where, this English pea salad reminds me of Velda. And the, uh, those of y'all that know Velda be like, yes, you did always have it at her home. And so I'm going to make it a lot like her, and I'm adding some little variations that I like as well. But Velda would like it too, and she was so good about letting me cook over there. I'd say, can I help? And then I'd say, Velda, do you care if I put so-and-so in there? And she'd say, do what you want to. You cook, and I don't care. It's yours. You know, she was real open about that, and I love that. She's like, hey, that's yours now. That's your responsibility. You do what you want. So she was real good like that. Anyway, I think I've got a bowl. Here we go. <laughs> I think I got a bowl. We're going to start with the bowl. That That's pretty good, right? Um, the English peas that you can use, It what's good about this salad is you can throw it together sometimes if you're needing a little extra something. It can go with meat and gravy and rice and potatoes. It can go with uh, fried fish. It can go with pork chops. It goes with any and everything. Um, it's good on a Thanksgiving dinner table um any i'm telling you anything this goes with anything and what's good is a lot of things will be in your pantry that you can throw into there but if you don't want to use canned english peas i got both kinds just to show you can use either one you can use frozen english peas as well and i'm going to use two cans of these two are these 15 ounce cans yes and um, I've got them draining right here. I'm going to put them in here. That'll be our first little thing. Um, but what I'm saying, if you want to use the frozen peas, you can. And just let them thaw really well. And I would use probably, I don't know how those bags come, but you know, one of your little smaller bags. Or this recipe is so forgiving, you can do two bags if you need a big old English pea salad to go for a outside family barbecue or whatever so you kind of just take this recipe and then you make it your own okay that's what this is all about so we're going to start with these peas something that is almost in every single one of them is some cubed uh, cheddar cheese and I want to show you I cubed it you can use shredded if you want to but the idea with the cubed cheese um, that was one cup of cubed sharp cheddar I love that little sharp bite and that's what Velda used to 
what's good about the little cube cheese is it's almost the size of the peas so that's real good but if you don't want a cube cheese and you've got some shredded cheddar put you about a cup of that shredded cheddar in there and move on do not sweat about it no 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 um, I'm gonna put some chopped onion in there I've got about a quarter cup and I'm using the purple onion <laughs> I know it's red onion but no, it's purple right and I've got about a quarter cup of that I'm using the purple onion because it's a little um, less acidic and it's a little sweeter you could use a Vidalia onion would be wonderful in here I know they're coming out in Georgia right now so we'll be getting some soon in our stores um, so I'm gonna put a quarter cup and you could even use shallots shallots are very very good in here I didn't have any shallots today so I've got to get me some more I love shallots good gracious did y'all hear that motorcycle somebody is on a motorcycle and they were just flying Woo! that was loud something I want to stop right now and show y'all is a little kitchen hack I did these are some really nice prep bowls that you can get from a name brand and I'm not going to call the name brand just because I don't want anybody to take it offensively or not offensively or whatever but you know you can pay a good a good penny for these um, little prep bowls and I love prep bowls because you can get it all out here and then you can start dumping or you can even make you meal kits where you put all your prep bowls say on a cookie sheet and slide it in your refrigerator and you want to put this English pea salad together um, on the weekend and you want it to be nice and fresh and not pre-made then you can already have all your prep work done so I love little prep bowls with lids love them I love this size and bigger um, so I have several of these and I wanted some more because I've got them in my kitchen in the house and down here in the canning kitchen and they can get expensive so I was in the Dollar Tree I, our nephew works in the Dollar Tree so he's constantly sending me pictures of good little things they get in where did I have that whole stack that I got oh here it is right here um, they come one two three four for a dollar yeah four for a dollar at the Dollar Tree that's fabulous isn't it now these are these little bowls okay and they're a little bit smaller but I actually put water in them and they hold right at the same amount in these prep bowls but these have a nice little lid to it so I told John I said I found these little prep bowls at Josh's I call it Josh's because he works at the Dollar Tree but it was at the Dollar Tree and I said but it needs a little lid on it and John is so mechanically inclined he can look at a, a socket or a, a bolt or anything and he can tell you what size wrench fits that just like that I mean he's just so he can really eyeball that he's just he's a mechanic okay and so he said baby I bet one of those icings you buy you know one of these store-bought icings he said I bet those lids that we normally throw away right he said I bet that might fit on there and I said oh, let's see well y'all look at here y'all see did y'all hear it just snap on there so well do y'all see that so this is a lovely little kitchen hack because you can use something you would normally throw away a lid from one of those icing containers and you've got your little prep bowls right here four for a dollar because the lid's free because it was gonna be garbage right so four for a dollar you can have you some little prep bowls like this so I just fell in love and I wanted to share that with y'all I don't know why I just thought what a great little old hack you know kitchen hack I love it so um there we go I shared it with y'all <laughs> okay guys let's get back so far our salad is looking so beautiful isn't it I know I really needed to get y'all down here but I love to see y'all I do I love to see all your pretty faces um, okay something I want to put in here that is not something that my mother-in-law would do um, my first mother-in-law is a quarter cup of real bacon bits and y'all know I always perk them up a little bit for about 30 seconds in the microwave and it's not crunchy bacon bits but it's the real bacon so it's got a little bit of a chew on it and that's adds such a nice little smoky flavor in there and you don't have to put that if you don't want to so you can make this your own and y'all know when I do smoky flavored bacon y'all know I love some smoked paprika right so let's put let's see maybe like half a teaspoon I'm trying to come up with measurements because y'all gonna want the recipe and I'll be like I don't know I'm gonna save that out we can sprinkle that on top and let it look pretty 
I've got a little bacon to sprinkle on top as well. Something else that Velda always put was some pickle relish. This is sweet pickle relish. You could do dill pickle relish if you want to. I hope this doesn't blow everywhere on us. I'm going to do about a quarter cup of pickle relish. And if you don't want to do pickle relish, you could chop some sweet pickles or some dill pickles. See how you can so make this your own? So, so, so. Okay, guys, you can add red bell pepper if you want to. Now, Belda did not do that. It's very good in there. I've had it. You can add celery. I believe I do want to add a stalk of celery. Belda didn't do that, but it's very good. And she did, like, literally, you go to the cabinets and you could get it all and put it, throw it together. If we said, hey, we got the stuff, you know, you boil a couple of eggs and you got a couple of cans of English peas and some mayonnaise and mustard and you got some English pea salad, especially if you've got some sharp cheddar in the house. So that was how she did it. But there are many variations. I've had it with chopped apples in it. Very good. You could do that in lieu of this celery. If you've got an apple, put you about a quarter cup of a chopped apple and again chop it finely 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 chop it we'll add this right in here I don't know if y'all can see that with me putting that bowl over there so we've got our celery in there as well what else oh I've had it before um, I've seen it with chopped cucumber in it very good you could do that instead of the apple or instead of the um, celery and if you don't like cucumber or apple or celery totally leave it out. Velda did and it was delicious. So I have got four boiled eggs. You don't have to put eggs if you don't like it, but it is typically in like any recipe. That's what I was going to tell you. All these stacks of recipes. I say it all the time, but this is one of those recipes. You can ask 10 different people how to make an English pea salad and you're going to get 10 different recipes, but they all have English peas in them. Most all of them have boiled eggs in them, and most all of them have the cheddar cheese in it as well. You can change it up if you don't like cheddar, but that's the typical, I'm going to say traditional, okay? Now, a lot of people at this point, they love to chop their eggs also the size of the English peas. I do not. I like my eggs totally, which I'm going to salt and pepper them just a little bit. Y'all see, I haven't put any salt or pepper in there, so I'm going to salt and pepper my eggs because this is about the only thing going on there in there that's not really salted. So I'm going to just kind of give a dash all that. And I like to use a meat fork, a big old meat fork like this, a serving meat fork, and I like to totally pulverize my eggs. I don't like a big old chunk of white eggs in there, but a lot of people do, and at that point... They will literally just take their knife and cube your eggs just like you did the cheese, okay? So if that's how you like it, you go right ahead and do it. But I love, I do this in my potato salad or tuna salad or any egg salad. I really, I sit here with a fork and I do this. So it's whatever you prefer. Whatever you prefer, guys. These are some of my fresh eggs from my girls. We had a stray dog dumped off on us. What was last weekend? And he came into the yard. John wasn't here. Anytime something crazy starts happening, John's not here. <laughs> and I went outside and he had one of my chickens. And he had already killed her and was just gnawing on her like a toy. And I was just sick just sick you hear me and so then I went and I was like no 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 we can't be doing that around here so then um before I could even get my hands on him he I picked that chicken up took it from him I was like no and he went after another one so he and I were both running around I'm trying to grab this dog not knowing this dog from anywhere knowing whether he's gonna get me but you know we, we won't protect our chickens so um that was a bad day. It was a bad day. I love when people drop their stuff off. You know, you can get your animal spayed or neutered, you know, or if you don't want a dog or take care of it, don't get it, you know, and if you don't want to have puppies, don't, don't get it spayed or neutered, you know, this is easy stuff, easy. But um, anyway, so I, I lost one of my chickens last weekend is what I was getting at, and I, my heart's broken, it really is. 
It really is. She was right up in my backyard with me, right around the swimming pool, working in the flower beds. Minding her own little old business with me, bless her heart. Okay, guys. And if you want to put eggs and you don't want to put four eggs to two cans, then you can put two eggs. Or if you want to put more eggs, you do what you want to do. You make this your own. Um, something else to put in here. Something I've had in there before is a package of dry ranch dressing mix. You can put one or two teaspoons of that. It's very good because it's got garlic and onion and all those flavors in there. You can't, I don't have any of that down here. I might would do it. But I'm going to use some just yellow mustard. You can use dry ground mustard too. You could do a little sprinkle. Just start, you know, quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon and go from there. But I love this little mustard. It gives it just a little tang. And I'm just going to do maybe like a teaspoon. Like nothing major. Nothing major, okay? And if you don't like pickle relish, you don't have to put it. You, there's so many variations of this, so make it your own. They're all very, very good because I've had many, many, many variations. I never, ever, ever have measured <laughs> for English pea salad. So I'm on the struggle bus a bit, guys. I'm just a bit on the struggle bus. You don't want to put too much mayonnaise. You don't want this to be just soupy with mayonnaise, okay? You want it to be just brought together by your mayonnaise. You do want to real, use real mayonnaise. I've got blue plate. You can use Hellman's. You can use Duke's. Absolutely. This is what I have down here. But real mayonnaise. And I wouldn't use Miracle Whip because it's going to be a little too sweet. With your sweet, your sweet peas are sweet enough, okay? So just get you some real mayonnaise. I'm going to start with a quarter cup. I just put about half of that in this half cup thing because you don't want too much mayonnaise. No, you do not. And use a spatula or something real light. You don't want to uh, over mix your peas. You don't want to get rough with this and squish your peas. You want to be real easy with it. Is that making sense? You're like, we got it, Amy. We got it, girl. Move on. Trying to think. Of, oh, I know another variation I've had before. Uh, noodles, cooked macaroni noodles in here. About a half a cup to a cup of those. Very good in here. I've had that. Um, so you see how you can make this your own little recipe. And you see how many different recipes there are out there. And I didn't realize this was a southern thing. And it may not be to some other people. I just know I've had a lot of northern friends that has had this down here in the south and they say they want to try it again do y'all see how that quarter cup of mayonnaise actually coated this i'm gonna come show y'all i'm gonna come show you y'all see i'm squeezing in here <laughs> i've got y'all right up against the island i'm gonna show everybody on facebook first because i'm just right here not cause any reason except I'm right here. Y'all see how it's just coated these peas and everything. That's what you want. You don't want it to get too soupy. Alright YouTube, I'm coming. I'm coming. Y'all hang on. Y'all hang on. Y'all see that? And it's beautiful and I love all the colors in here. And you can imagine a red bell pepper how pretty it would be in here too, right? Yeah, you can. Alright guys. See if I can get by y'all without toppling somebody over. All right, so here we have it, and y'all see this bowl is all messy now. It's a messy bowl. Let's put it in a pretty bowl. Let's start over. That's something we do. That's something we do, isn't it? We make it in a bowl, and then we mess up another bowl to get it in there real pretty. And before I get that all in there real pretty, first I'm going to put in a little bowl for me to taste and tell y'all we're going to talk about it and taste it. This is the part where I wish, I wish so badly that I could hand y'all a little bite. I wish I could just stand there and hand y'all a little bite. It would just be fabulous. I do, I do. Let me get my mustard spoon rinsed off. That might be a big old bite of mustard, huh? Looked like it was going to rain outside earlier. Now it's getting bright, bright, bright. It just passed over us. Yay! Okay, guys. Let me finish putting this in here. I try to turn it around for y'all, and a lot of times I just make a big old mess, don't I? 
but that's what I want to stress so we just put about a quarter cup of mayonnaise in here literally you can just start with a couple of tablespoons and just toss it around don't don't be don't be too vigorous with these little English peas they like you to be tender 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 with them okay guys and this is something else I'm gonna do y'all know I'm gonna go outside and take pictures of this I take it outside in the sunlight <laughs> oh I know I know I'm a nut I know it but y'all want to see a pretty picture of this y'all don't want to I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of smoked paprika on it just a little of course we got to put a little on what we're gonna eat too just like that and then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more of this cooked bacon just to show that that's in there little on ours that we're gonna taste just like that so pretty and there you have it and guys you do need to keep it in the refrigerator and it's really good if you mix it today and you eat it tomorrow but to be honest with you and we were at Velda's and we were cooking and just whipped this together real quick we mixed it and we sat down the table and we ate it and it was delicioso it was fabulous and wonderful so don't sweat it if you don't have time to pre-mix it but it's good for a few days is what I'm getting at let's taste it now okay yum y'all been wanting to see the garden outside mm. what a memory what a memory did that bring back mmm <laughs> Mm. y'all I cannot stress to you how good this is and and I've taken it for granted my whole life up until now I thought everybody knew about this and so I'm wanting to share this with everybody the world it's so good mm -hmm. mm. that made my little snack but I'm going to take y'all outside y'all been wanting to see the garden we're going to go look we planted it when did we plant that garden guys I know let me look here let's look and see let's look see go to Amy's Louisiana kitchen let me see if I can scroll down here sometimes I can't get much down in here oh do y'all hear that that's that Louisiana syrup cake ready in the oven I got it. I'll be back at it let's go let's go y'all have just stepped out here with me onto the porch of the cannon kitchen y'all seen that a bunch the wind is blowing oh it feels nice out here oh so nice so very 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 nice i hope that yes my microphone is still on i'm just double checking excuse me guys y'all see the garden we planted it's right over here i meant to look it up earlier and i didn't but was it toward the end of april i usually do it right Easter weekend after Good Friday, but it kept raining and raining, so we got it planted a little late, but still not doing bad. Y'all see, these are the peas. Y'all see all those purple holes? Look how far up they go. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> We're going to be doing that. I make a purple hole. I make something surprising with the purple hole shells to some of y'all, so I can't wait to do that with y'all. Look at all these beautiful. Um, sunflowers aren't they just gorgeous they've already jumped look at that y'all it's not been what it's been about a month since we planted this or maybe a month and a week or so and look how nice everything's looking here are our cucumber plants they look fabulous lots and lots of sweet pickles to be made yes I see my YouTube camera it's warning me that my battery is low so I got to walk fast guys let's walk y'all been wanting to see this garden I don't want you to miss it and y'all jalapenos are the first to make and they will be the last to quit making y'all see we've already got little jalapenos these plants have been in the ground long and they just are growing jalapenos for us y'all see that jalapeno I know I'm making y'all dizzy I'm trying to get y'all down here <laughs> They look so good. We got sunflowers here too with the jalapenos. Hope y'all can see the little jalapenos on the plants. And our tomato plants are looking fantastic. Aren't they gorgeous? 
I love them are so gorgeous. I finally did go old school and went in the woods behind uh, the shop across the road and raked up some pine straw to put under the tomato plants. But um, they are just looking awesome. Let's see here, guys. We've even got tomatoes. We've got tomatoes forming. They haven't turned to green yet, but we got them. Uh, I've got to get out here. When I hang up with y'all, I'm fixing to tie up my plants some more because they are starting to get droopy. Yes, they are. I'll show y'all what I mean. <laughs> Here's this grape tomato plant. Look how well it's making. Isn't that cute? You got one already starting to turn down there. So you see him. He's flopped over. He says, I need some more tying up. So I'm going to go get my string. I'm going to do some more tying. Y'all see how the winds are blowing here? It's blowing. Blowing, blowing. A cool afternoon breeze. It feels really good. That's our cows across the road. We've already moved them. All right, y'all. I'm going to walk y'all back into the canning kitchen. And then I'm going to get my tomato string get out here and get busy. Before it rains on my head. Yes, I am. Here's this oak tree that's right out here on our driveway. And <laughs> it's got an old fence post in it. That John's papa had fencing right here when he had the farm. And look at it. It's growing out of the tree. And I told John, don't even cut it off. I love it. <laughs> so it shows you part of the old old part of the farm and then here we are the new part of the farm so i like that it's layers just layers and layers all right guys i'm gonna step y'all back up in here and i gotta go get busy <laughs> 